into today we are going to do a Christmas a candle Christmas card in water corner and um, I've already drawn it out it is a image off of print Pinterest it's a color page uh, I would just put type in color page pin in your Pinterest Christmas and it should come up I will try to link it below and on the blog I did one similar to this just in my mixed media master touch book the other day and really liked how it came out so I'm going to try to do a Christmas card in in a smaller scale um, I I make my own Christmas my own cards I just have a Ziploc bag full of two different sizes that I use and uh, I just use watercolor paper and fold it the size I want and that's all I do um, I cut the water uh, paper down to the size I want I use the watercolor paper I like so and we're going to be using um, a sharpie on this so you can say it's kind of mixed media I am use, going to be using a smaller brush than I normally would use and this may take a while I don't know um, because of just time wise but I am going to buy what I done earlier and um, see what we can get done uh, first of all, I'm going to start with my leaves because that's just how I roll. I'm going to start out with Zep Green. I'm using a pretty excellent paint set from uh, Amazon. So, I will have those linked below too. Now, I will link stuff from Amazon on, on um, YouTube and my website on the blog, my blog. And don't mean I'm using all of those products at that time. It's ones I have used and do like. A lot of times, um, like my brushes comes from Hobby Lobby. Um, my mixed media comes from Walmart and um, Hobby Lobby. I just buy what I want when I want. But I have used the Canson watercolor paper and all and the Canson mixed media I do have both don't mean I, I use it a lot I mean if I can save a buck somewhere I'm going to save a buck mostly when it comes to art supplies And I may have to go to a smaller brush than this. Looks of stuff. I'm gonna get that off. And I am using Zep Green, and I've got water. My to go bottles. And why I use those is because they easier to get in frame. <clears throat> And they was like two but a dollar for two of them at um, Dollar Tree a few months ago. And I would take them to go like if I'm going out on um, out to paint, like down to my folks or just painting in the truck with the pots you don't you don't walk a whole lot if you can help it. And if you don't know what the pot is, y'all can um, YouTube it. There's a lot of information on YouTube about it. It's nothing I heard of until I had a tilt test. And those things ain't no fun either. But I'm just going in using the Zep Green and coloring my leaves.
and I, like I said in an earlier video, that I cut all my um, handles well, that will fit in these um, fresh holes. I think the one I'm thinking of. But, well, they'll fit in these. I got two that I carry with me when I go out. If I go out. I don't go out much. I don't do a whole lot of anything anymore. And I wish I felt good enough to do videos every day, but I get these videos. Y'all get videos as soon as I feel like it. I promise you. Okay, I'm going to use a... Um, it's a Cad Yellow. And I'm going to mix it up with this green to just kind of give me a more of a depth. And give me some more. And I'm just going to layer on this on. And all it really did, I mean, I, I love just layering. If y'all ain't figured that out. But I try to do it as me as less layers as I can to get the effects I want. Sometimes it don't work. And yes, y'all hear Tootsie and Jessie. They out in the craft room. They playing. And Tootsie's pregnant. We all expecting puppies any time now. Um, we uh, just wait. Don't know how many she's going to have. <clears throat> but I will show them to y'all as soon as she has them. I can't. I can't wait because my craft room is going to be the puppy room. Because it's the most. This is the room we heat and cool the most. Heats the most. This way she'll be out if people comes over. She's not being aggressive. She she was really aggressive last time. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna blow dry. I'm gonna heat use the heat gun and dry this real quickly. Okay, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of yellow and do the um, flame. And then I'm going back in with some orange. And do the middle of this flame. If it gets on the yellow, it's fine. I didn't know. Well, I know mine will. Okay. Now we're going to do our um, in permanent rows, the cherries. I may use something else. I'm not liking how these coming out. This nice thing about the Master Touch, they go on sale at Hobby Lobby pretty often. You can get your paint brushes, all of it, 
pretty reasonable. I mean, they have paint sets too. That is good. Um, I own two of them. I own the 48 pan, and then I own um, a little traveler set. I think it's got 18 in it. It's got a little small water brush with it and um, a ceramic tray. And I use the and I keep those in my uh, to go bag. Like I said, I don't go a whole lot, but when I do go, I want to be able to go. Okay, I'm going back in with uh, lint, uh, with Crantium. And I'm just going so lightly. I say that. And I'm not doing values a whole lot today. We may get this done and I may not like it. And y'all never see this video. <laughs> And that happens a lot, y'all. So y'all know. Is everybody ready for Christmas? I have no clue what I'm getting. Nobody. Okay, I'm going to use pain gray. Because it's kind of like a bluish. But I'm watering it down. Really good. What are y'all barking at? What are y'all up to? We may go back in and use some blue. Okay, I'm making those darker than the rest of the bowl. But I'm probably going to go in and use some blue. Because I don't like this gray as much as I thought I was. I really don't know what I used last time. I just stay playing. And y'all, I'm real bad about doing something and don't even know the colors I used. I can kind of guess. But I'm not swearing to nothing. If I am working on a video, I do try to tell which colors I'm using. If I'm doing it just on my own, now never know. I'm gonna use the chunky blue. And I'm just going to do a light wash over this um, paint gray. Then once it dries, we'll come back in and put the bows and I mean the creases in. And I just take my card down to a cheapo uh, Dollar Tree clipboard. It works great. If 
you don't want to spend a whole lot on a board to tape your watercolor stuff down. And I use it for uh, water for small projects. If I'm not using a mixed media journal or a, a watercolor journal, I do like the journals because that way I don't have to find a place to put everything. If anybody's like I am, you, you limited on space. So, I know I'm quiet. It's 3 o'clock in the morning here. It's cold. We've got winter. I'm not ready for this mess. I do not like... I used to love winter. Because it was cold. I hate it nowadays. Because it is so cold. Um, my body just don't well I used to laugh at my grandma I ain't laughing with her no more or I used to laugh at them because she she hate she was she was not no you know, she would freeze to death um I'm sympathizing with her now <laughs> When you see me in long sleeves and long pants, you know it's cold. I mean, for years, anybody that knows me well knows I wore shorts and surprise all year round. Didn't matter what the temp was outside. Now I'm just like, give me my pants. Okay, this part, I'm using a yellow aqua. And right up at the top, I'm doing it a little bit darker. And then I'm going to go back in and lift some of the highlights out. This thing. If this paper will let me lift. The heat's just kicked on. That tells y'all how cold it is here in Arkansas. Okay, I'm going to use some little light green, or light hookers green. I love hookers green. I've used it for a few years now. And it's just going to give the um, holly leaves a, a little bit more green colors. As you can see, Tootsie, what are you doing? I'm turning this upside down, and I know that. What's she doing to you, baby good boy? You want to say hi? Say hi. Say, I'm Jessie. 
I'm the little stud muffin of the king of the hill. Are you little Mr. Stud Muffin, Jesse? He does not like the babies. He is terrified of the puppies. I don't know if it's because he, um, Tootsie got on to uh, growl daddy. But he's just, he just, he panics if one of the puppies gets too close to him. But that's a good thing because they, a lot of times, you know, the males will eat the puppies. Um, so I guess I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm going to heat, hit this with the heat gun and just kind of dry it. And then I'm going back in with the dark purple green and to do my leaves. Make my leaves look more like leaves. The whatever you call these. I'm not no I don't do flowers at all. Okay. Now I'm halfway off camera. I'm going to move this out of my way. And now we have it. Then this far. And now I'm just going to go in with the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Pen and Outline. Now, if you do, if you want to make this big one, you can, like I made it in my sketchbook, and then you could scan it into your computer and make uh, your your Christmas cards that way. Don't have to do it, you know, do all of them by hand. I mean, or you can scan it and send it to uh, probably Walmart. Well, I don't know if Walmart does it anymore. Um, Walgreens or Snapfish or any of those and make prints. Oh, I forgot something, y'all. Oh, well. I'll get it before we get done. I've got to put the creases in the bow. Did anybody else notice that? Now, I know you probably are supposed to use a certain type of ink pen for this. And I've got some. I just got to remember what I've done with them. Okay, get the paint set back out. Since I'm half dorky today, 
I'm going to blame it on 3 o'clock, but that ain't it. Okay. Now you can sign it if you want. I'm going to use my permanent marker and sign it. And we are done. What do y'all think about this little simple Christmas card? Yes, it's a little bit time consuming. But ain't it pretty and neat? I mean, how many handmade, painted, hand painted watercolor uh, water cards do you get a year? I don't get none. I don't even get homemade ones. But. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscri subscribe to us below. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, um, Twitter, all the social media I map on as Angie's Craft Corner. On most of them, um, some of them is all the links is below. We love you. Have a blessed day. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye.